Hello, thanks for joining today's walkthrough on the GCP migration tool. And this tool is used to facilitate the replication and cutover to GCP from your on-prem data center. In this example, we're gonna be migrating a virtual machine instance from vSphere, um, which is a part of a vCenter environment to the Google Cloud platform. <clears throat> so the first step is to install the migrate connector. And there is an OVA file that Google provides you with, which you need to deploy. So let's go through that step. So we'll specify the URL. Next, we'll go with that default VM name. We'll choose the compute resource. I've got a bunch of VSX servers here in my lab. Here is the download size of the OVA file. So that is fine. We'll choose the data store along with the network. And here are the additional parameters required to configure the appliance. Notice how it mentions it needs an SSH public key. This is to grant login access for the admin user, which is the default user account. And we'll need to generate this by using the PuTTY key generator tool, which I'll dive into here. So this has already been generated. It must be an RSA key, which you need to generate. And then of course you'll need to save the private key, which is used at a later stage to establish a connection to the appliance. So let's go ahead and copy the public key and we'll paste it here. And we'll go with the default host name and IP address. I like to assign a static IP so I know um, what the IP address is to connect to. So we'll specify that. Subnet mask. Default gateway and the DNS server. Perfect. And that's pretty much it. Um, you can validate and review the configuration settings. It looks good. I've got the SSH public key in there. That's definitely required along with the networking configuration. So perfect. We'll go ahead and finish that and we'll let it deploy. Okay, so we have successfully deployed the Migrate Connector Appliance. And also note, you need to create a specific role for the Migrate Connector. And you can reference the privileges here that you need to ensure that you set up and also create a corresponding user account and add it to this user role for your vCenter environment. So let's try to connect to the Migrate Appliance as a next step. So let's open PuTTY. And what you need to do is specify the private key that was created earlier when you created the public private key pair. Then go to session and specify the IP address of the appliance. Okay, great. I get a login screen, specify the default username, type in the passphrase for the private key. And that was created earlier as well. And there we have it. We have connected successfully. Now, if I type in M4C status, we can see that it's not yet associated or registered with the Google Cloud APIs. So that's what we're gonna be working on next to register the appliance. So let's register the appliance. Type in M4C register to start the process. And we just need to follow through the prompts here. Please enter the vCenter host address, which is this guy here. And make sure this is your actual vCenter IP address, not your ESX host IP. Prove the SSL cert. Type in the GCP account name that you set up on your vCenter environment. The corresponding password as well. 
and the vCenter credentials have been verified. So there's a URL we need to basically visit to authorize this application to register to your GCP project and workspace. So we'll go ahead and copy that. I'll just copy off the clipboard and I will paste this link in a separate window. Just bear with me here. Okay. So just hit allow, copy the code, paste it here. Done. Okay, there's going to be some additional prompts. So please select the project. I'll choose number four. And I'm getting an error. Please enable the VM migration API. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll copy that link. Um, just a moment. So that is required for the target project. Okay, so we'll go ahead and enable that. And we'll try again. Enter. Done. Okay, now there's various regions that we can choose here. I'm based out of Canada, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the Canadian location for this demo. And I'm just going to reference an article here just to ensure I get it right. So I believe it is North America, Northeast one for Toronto. So you have to type it in here and specify it. Okay, please supply new vSphere source name. Okay, and this will appear in the GCP um, project. So let's type in GCP demo. They must have a hyphen. Okay, so we'll use that name and create a new source. So it looks like it's going to be registering the appliance now. And all should go well. We'll give it a few minutes. And it's taking some time. This does take a few minutes. Let's switch to the actual project within my Google console. And compute engine, migrate for compute engine. Yes, this is version five of the tool that we're using. Let's go to sources. And we see the name that I specified. Source status still says unspecified because it's working on it. And soon after it's done, it should retrieve the VM inventory. It's working on it. it. Does take a few minutes. So we created the new source. Finally, we also selected a service account. We actually created a new one um, on the GCP end, and also we specified the service account name. And then it took a few minutes to um, become active. The registration did complete. We typed in M4C status to validate the registration process, and we can see that it has successfully registered. And if I switch to the GCP console, we can see the source of the vSphere environment, and we can also see the source status is marked as active, and we have successfully discovered the inventory of the environment. And now we can actually replicate and initiate migrations.
based on the inventory. So that concludes the demo of how to set up the Migrate for Compute Engine uh, version 5, as well as the Migrate Connector Appliance. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, and thank you for viewing.